okay, doctor. So I'm not gonna waste your time. Cancer. It means cancer. It is what it is. So I'm gonna have to live my life. What it was given to me. And I see you have a lot of black papers over here that you have to inform people that they're gonna die soon or something. So I don't wanna take your golden time from you. What can I say? Good luck, doctor. Come in. Hi. Hello. Have a seat. And you are? Uh, Isabella. Oh, yes. Yes, of course, Isabella. Diagnosis. Crutzfield Jacob disease. Family members complain that there are unexplained mental and behavioral changes noticeable with Isabella followed by progressive dementia. Directed to uncontrollable movement and vision disorders. The disease is 100% fatal. The disease is 100% fatal. One year following the appearance of its initial symptoms, all repeated analysis confirmed the patient's diagnosis. Tell us something. Please, uh, please calm down. Uh, uh, which was uh, so improbable that instead of one set of analysis uh, we repeat it three more times doctor please don't make my mother suffer just tell her as it is and let's end all this isabella this is uh, very unique and extremely deadly disease uh, called crossfield Jacob disease, that there are absolutely no treatment to cure it. What do you mean, no treatment? It's impossible. Isabel, please, show at least mercy on your daughter. Let her remember you as a strong woman. Isabella. I am remember. not Isabella. Isabella is my daughter. <laughs> I was begging him. Take me instead of my baby. God damn you. <laughs> Please, doctor, excuse me, mother. She's not realizing what she's doing. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.
Come in. Hey, Doc. Hope this isn't a bad time. It's just the receptionist told me that uh, she can't give me the stupid note unless I speak to you first. I didn't think that a permission slip to use the gym pool would be such a big deal. I mean, perfectly healthy. It's so stupid. And are you perfectly healthy, Mr. Uh... Otto. Robert Pato. I was it. Of course I'm healthy. Now I don't have any complaints. I'm an athlete. There's a yearly requirement to get a medical exam. That's why I'm here. Listen, Doc, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm in kind of a hurry. Mr. Pata, why did you request a mystery test? What's wrong with that? I'm a single guy. Well, I was a single guy. I'm, I'm engaged now. Plus, there's a lot of shit out there, you know, gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes. I haven't exactly been a saint the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying, Doc, but, but no more, no more. Now, now I'm a respectable young man. Speaking of which, I'd love to stay in chat, but I really gotta go. I'm taking the, taking the fiance wedding dress shopping. You know how it is. Doc? Can I get that slip? Mr. Butler, I've been heading to the person with your fiance. What kind, of, what kind of question is that? Just simply answer my question. It's very important. No. No. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a stupid question. I'm not, I'm not going to answer a stupid question. Boy, you, you think I'm sick? I'm not sick. I can't be sick. I, I don't have any symptoms. No, no rashes, no warts, no, no discharge. There should be white discharge if you're sick. I've looked it up, but with me, everything's clean. Look, look, look at me. I'm as healthy as an ox. Mr. Pato, you have AIDS. God's sake, please tell me, did you have any sexual intercourse with somebody recently. They all have to get screened immediately. Okay, Doc. I gotta go. I gotta get that. I gotta get that wedding dress. I'll come back later for that slip, huh? You can't go anywhere, Mr. Pato! Wait! I call somebody for you! I take back everything what I said. You get those pills. Of course, it won't save your life, but uh, tumor never can be cured. But it will kind of extend your life limit for a little bit. What kind of a person are you? How you treat us? What we? What are we, rabbits for you to test on? How are you inform people 
that they have only a few months to live. How it will be, how it shall be easy for you to do. It's not easy to do it. Moreover, it's terrifying to be able to tell the person that he has only a few months to live. You think it's easy? Why don't we change places for 10 minutes? You become a doctor and I'll become a patient. Okay, doctor, so I'm not going to waste your time. Cancer, it means cancer. It is what it is. So I'm going to have to live my life, whatever is given to me. And I see you have a lot of black papers over here. That you have to inform people that they're going to die soon or something. So I don't want to take your golden time from you. What can I say? Good luck, doctor. I take back everything what I said. I don't envy you anymore. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. With words. Excuse me, doctor. I, I noticed. You just took the same medication that you prescribed me. For God's sake. I never said that this medication will help the malignant tumor. It won't solve it. The only treatment that you will take, it's chemotherapy. It's not bad as people describe it. It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, you lose some hair that just fell off, but that's part of the process. But how? How you can come to work every day and pretend like nothing happened? And what am I supposed to do? Go home, sit on the couch, and wait for my death to come to me? No. That's not for me. I will live and I will be happy, and I'll enjoy the time that I've been given. That's what I'm gonna do. What type of profession do you have? 
Me? I am working in a small computer company. We build computers. Personally, I install all software programs, but by clients. Excellent. Allow me to explain this to you in your language. I did install a couple of computer programs and how the system works. First, you see a line of numbers, percentages. It says 11, 20, 25, whatever, it goes 99%, right? When it's 99% done, there's still 1% missing. So that means it's useless. You cannot do anything with it. And I can compare this to our lives. And this is what I tell to every patient of mine. You have to live your life. What I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to enjoy my life for 100%. That's what I'm trying to do. It needs to be 100%. Otherwise, it's useless. But what I'm trying to do is make my life 100%. It doesn't matter how much time I have left. I'm trying to enjoy that. I'm trying to live my life. And this is what I'm trying to tell to every single patient of mine. You are sent by God, doctor. You saved my life. Even if it's not physically, but emotionally. I was thinking of saying goodbye to my life starting today, but you opened my eyes. I promise my software will be completely installed. everything go today? Did the trick end up working? Yes. The one who has cancer started judging me. Then the medication trick didn't work. I, I offered to switch places and then the block papers brought him to the necessary. Uh, I assure you, you will live the rest of her life happily The most important, were you able to catch up with the mother, daughter, and um, other patient? Don't worry. They'll be here around 12 p.m. tomorrow. I told them that another doctor wants to speak with them. I'm sure the medication trick won't work on them. It's okay. I will help them. I'll think of something new. I'm on the verge of losing my mind uh, I need a surgeon so I survive It's kinda urgent, I'm searching for the answers Just tell me the truth and I could handle it Even if it's cancer See I'm hella fit, stomping like elephants Strong and intelligent, healthy as I've ever been Never needed medicine, but now I feel the pain Ever since I have this condition I gotta entertain Even if I have a minute, I just live it to the fullest Never put a limit on it cause I think that would be foolish But I'm ready now, so just open the door I'ma let it go, using life as a metaphor Before I die, ain't no holding back baby I'ma fly Say what you want, what you can't deny Before I die, I'ma fly Before I die, before I die Ain't no holding back, baby, I'ma fly Say what you want, what you can't deny Before I die, I'ma fly